Today we're going to talk about MoGraph's plane effector and specifically how it uh, relates to text. Uh, we'll also be using a delay effector in this uh, to give it kind of a springy effect. So let's get started. I'm going to go up here and go to splines, add a text object, and in that text object I'm just going to type what I usually utilize for uh, my demonstrations. Ludus. Uh, select a font. Uh, I'm going to go with Batho on this. Kind of an interesting font. The next thing I'm going to do is increase the horizontal spacing just a slightly. Give it a little bit more readability. And click separate letters. And very important that we click separate letters there for this. Uh, we're going to make this editable after we have everything taken care of. Here. And so now we have a group of splines. I'm going to add an extrude object, and I'm not going to apply that to the text quite yet. We're going to put actually a fracture object, uh, MoGraph object, in between those. So I'll come up here and grab MoGraph, fracture object. All right. Now, if you do want to do anything to the extrude nerves, again, you can do that later. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our text here, select all five, drag them underneath as a child of the fracture object. All right, I'm going to drag that down here and then I'm going to make that fracture object actually a child of the extrude. Now you'll notice only one here, only one letter is actually extruded. Uh, under the extrude here we need to click hierarchical. Okay, and what that does is it uh, reads these um, as they are underneath the fracture object. So now you can see all of our text has been made fat, thick, or extruded. In that case, and I'm going to increase the extrusion to this just to just for our purposes to 50. All right, looks nice, 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 nice. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a plane effector to the fracture object. So select the fracture object, come up to MoGraph, and then we're going to come down here and get a plane effector. Now again, this doesn't have to actually be in uh, the hierarchy at all; it can be separate from that. So uh, we'll be adding these um, again to uh, the delay effector later. Now we're going to use that plane effector and we're going to use it as a, a falloff object. This is very important. Falloff uh, allows us to mo move uh, or again select a shape. So for instance box which I like to use and that box as we move it kind of um, reacts depends on its placement and its size wherever that text is at in there. So you can make your text jump up and down. Uh, and for us, we're going to actually make our text disappear and then reappear, kind of fall in a springy motion. Um, so I'm going to go to all four views here. I'm going to drag that plane effector um, right into the middle. Uh, now another thing you could do to get this kind of located evenly is actually, more specifically, I'm going to make it a child of an actual fracture uh, object here. And then if we zero out its coordinates, okay. zero, 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 uh, then that puts it kind of directly in the middle of where that fracture object would be located. Now again, for our text, if we want to do that same thing with our text, uh, drag, it, drag it underneath the extruded nerves, and again, same thing, zero it out. Um, if you put it under the U, obviously it's going to change a little bit because that U is in a different position. So whatever you make that a child of, uh, it should keep its axis centered to that, uh, its parent's axis. All right, so just a little pointer there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag out the fall off. Um, so as you can see, we're going to increase the actual box shape of it and increase uh, its fall off. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it all the way so it's capturing again all of that text. And if you notice this now, as I bring this up, the reason it's moving is because we have uh, the plane effectors effector here and its parameters is moving on the y axis. So I'm going to zero that, and now you can see it's directly kind of in the middle of that. And that's what we want. We want it kind of centered in there and right in there. Okay, drag this fall off out just a bit more. So what we're going to do now is basically I'm going to affect the scale on this. And this tutorial uh, is based on another one that was out there off of Cineversity. So I'm not claiming rights to this, but I am utilizing uh, my demo uh, for specifically for my students' purposes here. All right. I'm going to do uniform scale, and in this case, I'm going to go negative one. You can see how my object now disappears. All right. But when I move that off of that, uh, my letters appear magically. Okay. 
And you can see how they kind of grow too. They kind of pop out, they get bigger and, all right, exciting. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of rotation to this too. And I'm gonna add that rotation, maybe 25. Again, this is up to you. There's no specific right way other than uh, what you're looking for. And notice that that text kind of rotates almost like it's coming back in. You can see how it's rotating. All right, pretty cool. All right, so the next thing that we need to do here is put a delay effector with this. And so we're going to select again our fracture object because that's going to be where the effector is going to be placed. And again, the, the hierarchy or where the uh, uh, um, delay effector is positioned in the effectors will be important also. So we're going to come up here and go to Mo MoGraph, Delay Effector. And now if you look in the uh, fracture object, that delay effector should be down here. In the delay effectors, um, effector mode here, where it says mode, blend, we're going to leave that on spring. And what that does is it kind of creates a little springy action uh, when we move that plane effector and those letters appear, they'll kind of pop up there and spring. All right, so let's go ahead and animate our plane effector here. So select that. Uh, at frame zero, we're going to leave it right where it's at. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click a keyframe here for that. This is the easy way to do it. There's multiple ways to do that. Uh, then I'm going to move to frame 30. So this is going to slide off fairly quickly here. Let's go ahead and make this big. Uh, and then I'm going to move this all the way off the text. Now you, again, you can't see the text yet. Uh, I'm going to keyframe that vector and I'm going to move it back. So now when I push play, you can see how my text kind of rolls out there, kind of nice and loose-like. So um, there you have it.